We're here again, episode 96 of Fine Music. This is the famous self-indulgent episode for me. And uh, I've been doing a lot of searching for music that I don't know on YouTube. And YouTube only makes it too easy. If I find something, the next thing I know, I'll get a suggestion in the same neighborhood. That's kind of how it works. And just to prove my point, this particular episode, I'm going to cover the four finds that I found consecutively because of the search thing mechanism they have. Uh, the first one is Emerald. Bet nobody's heard of Emerald. They only made one album. It's called Armed for Battle, and it came out in 1986. And for me, they're a cross between Guns N' Roses and Van Halen. So you would think they'd be incredibly popular. Uh, let me show you the cover. It's going to be really small because it's from my media player. Why not? A green cover. Armed for battle. With great titles like a seven-minute version of Teenage Suicide. Not to mention Winds of Doom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are great titles. Born to Die. Judgment Day. And a bonus track. Yeah, Born to Die. This is such a cheery album, yes. But it rocks. I mean, it really rocks. If you need to rock it, sometimes I need to rock. Emerald will definitely fulfill your wishes. Uh, I like to make CDRs, but unfortunately, in this case, they only had one album. So I had to just put the album twice on the CDR. That worked. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about Emerald. Uh, that was... Rock and fun. Uh, next up, who's up next? Oh, yeah, going down the alphabet. We're going to Target. Anybody heard of Target? It's that store where you can't buy guns. Yeah, and you know what's so funny? When I went to buy this music, uh, I go to different websites, and one of the websites had the Target logo for their oh. first album. So they might have been a little confused. Because I'll show you the real logo here in a moment. Get to the T's. Target. Target. It's here. There it is. Target. Target. So there's the real cover. And that came out in 76. And I feel like I've been in a record store and I saw that cover. It's such a familiar cover. Who's the one right above that? Target. Of course, their second album has a really the cover is is putting it in a different direction when the music I've really is that going. one too. Yeah, so that's my junior year and my senior year right there. Huh. But I didn't remember that other cover. But I can say this about Target. What do I have in my notes? Uh, for me, Target is another like pre Van Halen band because Van Halen didn't come out with their first record till seventy eight, but they started playing in seventy five. They played in my high school. But uh, Target, they only made two albums. That was it. They just, just didn't have commercial success. Uh, when you got titles like, well, they did a cover of 99 and a half on their first album. Good idea. But the other, you know, you look at the other titles, these are not really the most interesting titles in the world, are they? Except for that last one on the second uh, album, Rock and Roll Laureate. I wasn't expecting that title. <laughs> but everything else is just what you expect. But they really rock. And they have that uh, a good lead singer. That's really important. That's something all four of these bands have in common. They have a great lead singer. Without a great lead singer, I'm just switching to look for another band. But this one I stayed with because it had great sound. It has that, I can't say it any other way. It's got that Van Halen energy. It predates hair metal. You know, so it's still rock and roll. And sometimes that's what I need. I need to sound more than what it's saying. And not too far away in a letter T is another T band. Not far at all, right there. T's. Now, this is a little bit more of an interesting story. They did four albums. And the first album is just... As hard rock as hard rock gets. 
and you, it's called Tease, right? It's their self-titled album. You look at those titles, nothing surprising there, except for maybe Boys Night Out. And uh, just a real pleasurable band to listen to. But here's what happened. Because of their lack of success, I, I read that their uh, label steered them in a more commercial direction to become more pop than rock. So each successive album is more pop than the previous. Uh, the second album is called On the Loose. There it is. And it's got more tracks, shorter tracks. Everything's under four minutes. And it's still trying to get those, uh, trying to get a hit. Didn't happen. Nope. Lady Killer just didn't work. Right? Okay. Going to have a good time tonight. Oh, well, they tried. They tried. And the third album is really... Uh, not as rock and roll as the others, as I recall, or I maybe mean, have that backwards. I think they tried to get, yeah, the third album rocked a little more than the second album because it, obviously the band maybe didn't like going in that commercial direction. So this one's a little harder rock. Maybe that's why the first song is called Back in Action because, yeah, this album rocked harder. But again, no success. You can see they remade Boys Night Out. Right? It didn't work the first time. Let's re-record it. <laughs> uh, if it is a re-recording, let me check real quick. You can always tell by the times. Uh, yeah, it's four seconds shorter, which means it might be the same thing done again. I don't know. I have to listen harder. The thing that really threw me was the fourth album. This is the one where, you know, even the cover has lost its rock and roll. Body shots. 1980. Oh, what a lost time for hard rock. <laughs> and so this is pure pop. This is pure pop. This is the pure pop. And yet, once again, they're trying to make a hit out of Boys Night Out. And this one is seven seconds shorter. So what is going on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, it's listenable, but it's not rocking like the earlier albums. Polygon so versus that's, uh, that title just doesn't really have any real urgency. <laughs> yeah, they just did. They, uh, maybe that's the problem. The songwriting. Yeah, I don't know. All doctors, that'd be a whole different story. Ah, well, I got just one more to talk about. This last one, they did have some success. You might have heard of this last band because they're from the 80s and they kind of have a pre Def Leppard sound. Got to get way down to the Z's. That's right. Right next to Zazu is Zebra. Heard of Zebra? No. Huh. 0 for 4. <laughs> well, Zebra actually had a little bit of success. Uh, their first album was called Zebra, self-titled from 1983. This is a great rock album. And like I said, it has that... Uh, it, it, here, I, my note said it's like Def Leppard meets the Scorpions. That's really a good, accurate way of putting it. Because you remember in, in the early 80s, the Scorpions got more commercial, too. They used to rock harder. And then they had some hits. You know, like Rock You Like a Hurricane, that kind of thing. So Zebra is along those lines. And they had a song called Tell Me What You Want, which was a minor hit. Uh, so at least they're competent. And I didn't get all their albums. The second album was you know, the sophomore slump thing. But the third album, I really liked it. It's called 3.5. Why is the third album called 3.5? Ask the Traveling Wilburys. I don't know. And uh, so this album is almost as good. Got a few good songs. I stopped putting ratings on because they get lost. Uh, so there's a few good songs. If you like... Uh, Jeff Leopard or the Scorpions, you're going to like this stuff here. And even better, they have a live album. Okay, I'm not sure if it's from 1990. <laughs> I didn't research this, you know, just trying to listen to the music. And so there are titles here that are from the other albums. And there's a couple songs that were not on the other albums. Like, uh, interestingly enough, you look at that last song. It's a version of The Ocean by Led Zeppelin. They do a remake of it. And Zebra started out as one of those tribute bands for Led Zeppelin. And so that's probably where that comes from. 
not much more to say. Apparently, uh, based on their order of their set list, uh, their perceived hits are the La La song, must be one of the audience sing-alongs, because here it's nine minutes, twice the length. Well, not twice. Uh, it was six, now it's almost 10, yeah. And uh, times, like their slow song, acoustic thing, and uh, Who's Behind the Door, I think they had a music video for that one. Typical early 80s music video, right? I don't have to describe it. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, and Tell Me What You Want to finish off the concert uh, pretty much, right? That's their hit, their only minor hit. Uh, there's a couple songs on there that might throw you that they're trying to get out of their comfort zone. There's a song called Bears. It's kind of a same thing like when Kiss did a tender song. Does anybody follow Kiss when they were in junior high? I'm obviously younger. Kiss was big when I was in junior high, and then they had that song, Beth, a ballad. You know, everybody was shocked. Kiss did a ballad? Why? That's kind of what's happening here. That's it for Zebra. Okay. I don't think I'm going to get much uh, conversation from my comrades on these bands. <laughs> I don't think well, so. The most interesting it's thing, not your thing cup about of tea. Zebra to me was it was right next to Zazu. I mean, you know. <laughs> Well, yeah, I didn't have any Z's. Sorry, Zappa fans. I didn't have any Z's until these two, Zazu and Zebra. Uh, <laughs> I got my second cue. Right? What was the first cue? Queen. Queen, of course. Yeah. And uh, the other one. Queen's we'll Reich. Talk about it in another episode. What? Queen's Reich. Well, you know, it didn't guess? seem original enough. Yeah. I don't know. They. They're like a wannabe Pink Floyd, or maybe I listened to the wrong album or something. I'm gonna get catch hell if there's a Queen's Rank fan. Um, what was the name of that album I was just thinking of? Yeah, it starts with a Q. Yeah, I'll do that in another episode because that's a little more traditional Prague. It's Prague. So I'll just do maybe next time I'll do Prague. Cool. Right? I just had to get this out of my system because sometimes I just have a need to rock. Okay. And YouTube understands my needs. And so they said, oh, you don't want to listen to the same old tired bands, do you? Zeppelin, Zeppelin, Zeppelin. Well, come on. Be purple, get over it. <laughs> so they introduced me to these four. I'll just recap it real quick. And we're out of here. Emerald. This is your homework. Listen to Emerald. And Target. <laughs> T's with a Z. And Zebra. If you need to rock uh, in the 70s way or early 80s way, you'd be very satisfied. Okay, enough said. Down with episode 96.